This next story is so inspiring. This Friday, a triple amputee is going to graduate UCLA Medical School. When Kelly Lim was just eight years old, she lost both legs, her right arm, and actually parts of her left hand to bacterial meningitis. Obviously, though, that has not stopped her. And the amazing woman, Kelly Lim, joining us now from Los Angeles tonight. So good to have you with us, Kelly. We should point out, not only were you really discouraged from applying to medical school, of course, you're now graduating from medical school, but you weren't even given much of a chance of living through your childhood. Yes, I um, was given a 15% chance of survival. At least that's what the doctor said. And um, it was amazing to actually go back to my medical records and read the entire records and um, kind of see the progression of my illness and, you know, kind of connecting that with my own memories of it. And actually, I do remember a lot of it. And it's amazing to myself to actually live through it. And I can actually say that, um, that um, I'm here. And, and, I mean, more than just here, what an incredible story you have. Not only did you beat Thank the odds, you. but as we mentioned, you're getting your medical degree this Friday, and mm -hmm. I can only imagine how proud your family is. What has it been like? Because being a doctor, of course, involves a lot of precision, and you not only lost one arm, but, but parts of your left hand as well, I think three fingers. So is there anything that's, that's difficult for you to do as a doctor? I think for any training physician, it'll be difficult to do any kind of medical procedure it's not an innate ability it's not ingrained to you to put in IVs or draw blood or to do intubations I think I definitely need a lot more practice mm -hmm. and I think anyone in my position uh, as a medical student and a starting intern would need more practice I feel that I probably would need more help with these procedures but it's just someone else's hand to take the place of the one that I don't have. And at least from everything I've read, you haven't let any of that stop you. You just you plug along and, and maybe take that extra time to learn it. You also don't really like to wear your prosthetic arm when you're on the job. Why? I, uh, I was fitted with uh, my electric prosthetic arm when I was eight years old, about approximately a month after it was amputated. And uh, during that period, I actually learned how to write, eat, um, do a lot of things with my left hand and because I was eight years old and I was learning very quickly mm -hmm. I uh, immediately did everything on my le with my left hand with no right hand at all so when they fitted me with the right prosthetic arm I kind of ignored it I used it as a paperweight instead <laughs> kind of holding down my papers when I was writing since you'd already learned how to do everything mm -hmm. with the left what do what do some of your patients say when they see you come in is there ever a reaction thinking oh I don't want this woman to treat me I've never had major problems with adult patients. I've had a couple of younger patients of ages of three or four that would stare at me and kind of look frightfully at me and they would pull away from me, but their parents were there to calm them down. And how I usually describe myself is that uh, my right arm is like their hand except it's, it just looks different so it's <laughs> my is, hand and, and it's just so great for kids you're going to be a pediatrician for kids to meet mm -hmm. you and to have you as a role model for all of us really kelly lim we really thank you for your time tonight and best of luck as you uh, as you begin your career as a doctor thank you so much and there will be much more coming up on prime news after this short break please stay with us